Hello everybody! Welcome to another Valheim video. Today I'm going to teach you how to make an object or a building in Valheim invincible on a dedicated server. Now you're going to need a PC in order to make the server with the invincible parts, but once it's made, it's invincible to everybody, including Xbox players. That's actually how my server works. What we're on right now is a public server that anybody can join, and people actually play on it every day, as long as I remember to reset it once a week. That's sort of the glory of a public server. You don't rely on the community to keep the server active, which is normally loads and loads of work. On a public server, you just kind of give people an experience, right? So they join the server and they're here, but unfortunately, because it's public, there's also a lot of griefers, which is why you need to know how to make things pseudo-invincible. This will protect you from most griefing activity. I have a weapon out and I'm attacking this cartography table, which is normally quite an easy item to destroy, right? But as you can see, I'm doing damage, but the cartography table is at full health. This is what, this is how an invincible item behaves. And here is actually another use for invincible objects. Because the object is invincible, it can't be destroyed unless it's by a workbench. So that means that the object can float because structural integrity won't destroy it. And I can look at these with a hammer. I'll be showing you two mods that you can use to make an object in Valheim invincible. Infinity Hammer and also Plan Build. Both of these mods handle invincibility a little bit differently. For example, with plan build, you sort of have to do it all at once. So you can use plan build to uh, replace an entire building with a copy of that building, identical, that is invincible. Whereas with the other one, Infinity Hammer, it's more on an individual basis. With Infinity Hammer, you can repair anything and make it invincible by repairing it. Or you can make it so anything you build with your hammer is invincible. In order to make things invincible, you'll have to go into the config file for either of the mods. Luckily, they're in the same place. I'm looking at the Bepinex main folder right now. So you'll go into config, and then there is this infinity hammer file, so we'll right click and edit that one. And then also this Marco Pogo plan build file, so we'll right click and edit that one. Let's start with plan build. We need to find the setting that's invincible. And that's right here. It's the second setting. Set piece health to its maximum value when directly building blueprints. If you set this to true, that means that all of the things that you place with plan build will be invincible. That means the entire building will be invincible. Okay? Now let's look at the infinity hammer config. Here we go. It's this setting right here sets the overwrite health to 1E30, which is scientific notation for a number so big that Valheim just counts it as infinite. All you do is type true here, and that means that whenever you repair or make anything, it's gonna have full invincibility. Once you've made these changes, just save the file and then launch Valheim. It won't work if you're already running Valheim and then you edit the config file. You have to save it and then launch Valheim. We'll start with the functionality of Infinity Hammer. So now that we've changed that config file, anything we build is going to be invincible. Right, I just built this, can wail on it, right? Do enough damage to it, but you can tell it's not changing, right? If I put the hammer over it, you can see it's still at full health. So some people will do this specifically because it means that the rain will never damage the object. So infinity hammer is what you use when you want to have a small amount of invincibility or you want to fine tune which object is invincible. Just remember that you can still use the workbench just like you normally can to destroy the item. It doesn't matter that it's invincible if the workbench or stone cutter or whatever relevant crafting thing is nearby. Now we'll look at the functionality of invincibility using plan build. This is what you use when you want to make a huge thing invincible and it would take too long to click it piece by piece to repair it with infinity hammer. 
So what we'll do is equip our plan build rune and then go into our blueprint section and I'll pick this hut that I made recently. This, when I originally built it, was just a regular hut, no invincibility at all. Whereas now I can place it and then start trying to destroy stuff. And you can see it's not invincible. And that's because I didn't save the setting. <laughs> but normally if you just save the config file, then everything's invincible. And this is a great opportunity actually to show you with plan build, I placed a non-invincible object, but with infinity hammer, everything will be invincible if I repair it, right? So if I click, you see how it goes 1000, 000, like really big number. You can one by one make all these pieces invincible, but obviously that would take a long time if this is a really big design. So what do you do if you have a huge design that you want to make totally invincible? This is what you'll do when you want to make a whole building that you've already made invincible, but you need it to be in the exact same spot. It can be kind of finicky to get rid of it and replace it, right? So you need to use these center point and snap point markers. And then when you save the selection, you can use cut. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna remove everything. But because you added the center point marker and the snap point, all you have to do now is look at this original post and then boom, the building is in the exact same spot. And now, because I reset the settings, you can see that it's actually properly invincible. If you want to learn more about dedicated servers, then check out my video about how you can set one up to play on with your friends. It's a great way to play Valheim and personally, I think it's one of the best ways just because it's much more interesting when the people you're playing with can log in and build stuff when you're not there. It makes the world feel more alive. Although it can be tricky to find people who like the game as much as you do. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And if there's anything else you want a tutorial about, then comment below. Let me know. I love making Valheim videos. See you next time. Bye.